What's up, NotFest? This is Daniel DK hanging out here at Aftershock Day 2. We got Joey Valence and Bray in the house. What's going on, guys? What's, What's happening? What's happening? Dude, it is a beautiful day. We're here nice and early, oh, yeah. smashing Red Bulls backstage, chalking sure. shit. Woo. How you guys doing? You stoked about today? Oh. I'm mega stoked. Let's bro. go, dude. Let's fucking go. It's going to be very excellent. I'll tell you that much. It's going to be good. Festival you guys, shows go crazy. You guys got a hype-ass slot today. It's going to be a wicked show. And as I was telling you before, we started our morning today, the NotFest gang, uh, having breakfast cereal and listening to your music, watching your videos <laughs> up on the big screen. It was a hell of a way to start the day. That's uh, how you should start every, every day. Every day with some Fruit Loops and Joey Valance and Brad. That's, That's what the I'm going yeah. to do it. JVB and Loops JVB all day. You should loops. really dedicate an hour or two of your morning to just... Us, Us, you know? Yeah. Love it. Every day. <laughs> um, so check it out. I was reading this, like, incredibly wholesome Penn State article where they literally call you guys the most famous, perhaps the most famous students to come from their school ever. Wow. And wow. Uh, it's this really, like, wholesome, genuine story about you guys meeting and it's like, overnight success idea. Like, you break down this uh, lovely tale for me. It's a pretty it interesting, all it's pretty interesting beginning. It was all a lie. It's not we real. We met at Red Lobster and we the rest did. is history. The rest is history. I was eating a Cheddar Bay biscuit and um, I, we locked eyes across the I was Red Lobster. Enjoying a f an admiral's feast, admiral's and we feast. walked eyes, <laughs> and uh, we said, "Hey, we should let's make do music this. or something." And we <laughs> did. So you know, well, we're just two great buddies doing what we love, and that's making music, kick-ass fucking music. And like now we're here, man. It's just a ride. Yeah, and we love this doing it. And this shit like legit started as just doing it in a dorm room, just kind of hanging. Yep. Every song is made in an apartment in a be bedroom. Yeah, so, still is. You know, yeah. Was school a priority? Like, I know you guys met through school, but is school a priority at all? It was like, kind of like, fuck this shit, let's do music. No, we're both accoladed young men. We graduated. We have right. degrees under our belt. We're Good not using you. them right now. But I'm a doctorate in... Uh, yeah, do doctorate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a do I was going to say doctor in cockology. But. Cockology. <laughs> That's him for sure. Yeah, doctor and filling the slots. I'm so. a do I have my doctorates in overeating. Overeating and, and yeah. falling up after, yeah. <laughs> But no, we, uh, we, uh, we got degrees. So. Yeah, and uh, it happened just at the end of our college sort of experience. So we were like, I had just graduated, and he had was doing his finals. And, yeah, uh, it was finals week. That's when everything started taking off, so it was just like perfect timing. Yep. And you managed to like put clearly enough effort into the music and ace finals as well. If you're Oh, yeah. I mean, we had like, it was like Straight literally a. a couple months. Valedictorian. Valedictorian. <laughs> I had all the chords on me graduating, yeah, and a gold chain. Nah, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, we had, like, just a couple months after graduating, just started, you know, full-time doing this stuff, and it yeah. really just took off for us, so we're, we're happy about it, man. It's you know what, to be I, here. I guess it makes sense you guys, like, left Penn in, you know, good standing, because they yeah. wrote a really fucking nice article about it. It was very guys. respectful. I should have put that very together. Sweet. Yeah. No, they're very <laughs> sweet people. We love, you know, shout out Penn State, you know, right. but, uh, right. yeah, it's good no. stuff. Humble beginnings. Humble beginnings. Okay, so... Tell me about this concept. You guys like put together music in like outlandishly fast times. Like in under 30 hours, you went from uh, mixing, mastering, making a song, getting a video, and distributing in under 30 hours. Break that shit down for me. Every song is like, I just have a bunch of shit that I have and then I show it to him and then we choose something and it's like, okay, go. If it's not done within like, two days it's not gonna happen it's snappy it's a snappy process that's for sure because you have to be excited and hype about something if we're if we're not in the root going like freaking the out track, over the and it's like not it's, gonna yeah. come out so yeah. um it's so quick and then we the music videos take one day i edit them and then we put them up and then put them on distribution platforms and like two weeks later it's out so the there's sporadicness of the creation process is exactly what you hear in the music i think that's why people dig it yeah. so much you know like it is crazy making it, and it sounds crazy, and it all of it is crazy. You know, it's just like really quick. You just know, don't want any so. bullshit behind it. It's like what you see is what you get, and what you hear is exactly what's happening. You know, so exactly. Yeah, it seems like you guys know exactly what you're doing as well. Like, where where does this? You guys are young, man. Like, where does this? <laughs> where does this experience? This wealth of knowledge of like, you know, not only the passion for this throwback and old school shit, which I don't know if you can tell, I'm a fucking old school dude. I love old school shit. <laughs> Hell I yeah. think what yeah. you guys are doing. Uh -huh. Like, where does that love come from? Where does the know-how come from? Like, how do you do this so well, man? You guys are, I mean, quite killing it <laughs> on all, like, the package is pretty goddamn perfect. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. man. I mean, our dads kind of brought us up both, like, you know, just listening to, like, old school stuff. So, like, I just had a huge appreciation for, like, 
hip hop and like old school classic stuff like since I was like a little kid um, and he's just been producing music since he was like literally a kid like 12 years old so I think the combination of like everything you know I, I mean I just started like hopping on the mic like a year ago I'm not like a trained <laughs> lyricist so Damn, I just had a huge appreciation true. for listening to a bunch of music we just so it just clicked you know we so. just both grew up with the style and all the influence and it just became like a, a huge part of our lives and um, we're just doing what we love and you know that's it have you have you been making beats for a long time, or is this something that's new to you? Yeah, I've been producing since I was twelve. So uh, I was making EDM. I wanted to be Skrillex so bad. <laughs> uh, he but still now wants we're... to be Skrillex. <laughs> I Don't do. get him wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, now we're here. I mean, like it's just it's just fun, and we're loving it. You know, yeah. so it's dope. Fuck yeah! And dude, I mean, people are loving it, like because of the way that the music industry works now like you guys can come up with something hooky and have this like overnight success a lot of people say it's overnight success does it feel like overnight success to you with the like blow up on tiktok and all that shit it's I tough considering how hard we've like worked yeah i mean like success i think is like the wrong word i think like overnight shock is more like it because like every day we wake up there's like something new somewhere new we got to go more people to meet things to do yeah. so it's just like it's bizarre to us because we were just like in school like i was like serving burgers before like all this stuff started and like like whatever and he was like applying for like real people jobs in like a cubicle so like it's gonna it's be just, a it's corporate just like, man yeah go corporate man it's just crazy because like we didn't expect any of this and like we just started going for it yeah. and you know here we are so it's just a blessing every single day man it's wild dude it ain't a bad life when every day is a new first you that's know right I mean? no right. for real that's what it feels like well, uh -huh. well said yeah dude i'm hyped for you guys this is a huge ass festival yeah um it's like Predominantly a rock and heavy metal festival. Right. However, there's a healthy dose of hip hop sprinkled in on every single day. Of course. What's What's your take on uh, you know the current state of the relation between like metal and hard rock and hip hop? I think uh, there's always been a blend of that, especially like when it started mixing, especially in the '80s, is when it sort of went to the mainstream. Um, and I think just a healthy relationship between any genres is how you do it right. And I think we're in a unique position where we're not filling any category specifically. And it really has us in a like cool position to be broad enough to play shit like this, which is so cool. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's just it's a blast. And there's always going to be that relationship in our music, just trying to throw as much of our inspirations into our stuff as possible. You know, so yeah, we pull inspiration from every single genre genre you can think of. And uh, we're especially pretty country. Especially country, That's yeah. The we love one. Keith Urban. We love Tim McGraw, Garth uh, Brooks, Dolly Parton, Garth Brooks, right? Miley Cyrus, uh, LMFAO as well. That's not country, but uh, <laughs> 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 nah. But like, it's cool because like we do define ourselves. We don't really define ourselves as anything, but like definitely in the alternative like space. So it's sick to come do these festivals where there's it's like just cool. a smidgen of like hip hop and we can fit that bill. So you know, it's dope. Yeah, what kind of shows do you guys like? Who do you like to play with? What's your ideal bill? Like, do you like playing hardcore shows? Do you like playing rock shows, hip hop shows? What's, Whatever what's the has vibe? the fattest, most aggressive mosh pit. Open you that love a mosh. Shit up. No, we just love <laughs> energy. Love a mosh. Energy love a mosh. is the best, and we find yeah. like, especially our fans, it's just like all these alternative kids who yeah. come from so many different areas, and that's like what's so cool is we're just drawing in this unique blend of community, and it's so cool. And every time, it's just like people going ape shit and that's all we yeah. care about is energy you it's know? so sick because so. it's people from all walks of life just having a house party together for like 30 45 yeah. minutes with us it's like the best thing on the planet it's so dope i mean you you guys are young men but you seem to to know your shit you know on in a very general sense of the word like do you find that there's you can make a correlation between like hip-hop and metal kind of being unified again the way this was like 20 years ago like it's in you know it's, it feels like a very old school a throwback moment to when aggressive guitars and aggressive sound right. music and yeah. hip-hop was in the mainstream in a huge way I feel like that went away for a bit now we're seeing a lot of it even the band shirts people are wearing like look at the some of the headline bands on this it feels like we're having a a 20-year uh turnover like a, it's i mean that's just I, how it goes the resurgence of genres is like it happens every decade you know and so Seeing a comeback of all that stuff is awesome, especially for us mixing everything together, you know? But yeah. uh, it's really cool just to see shit come back and, like, you know, communities thriving all yeah, the time, like, no matter what it is. Exactly. So. And whatever it is, like, whether it's, like, fashion, music, everything just, like, recycles. And, I mean, we're just, like, happy to be, like, in a time and era where it just, like, fits the bill right now. So it's definitely exciting. Super, it's very super cool. Sick. Fuck very yeah. Cool.
Well, dude, I'm, ho I'm hyped for you guys. You guys are killing it right now. Sweet. Keep being yourselves. Keep being Thank creative. Thank you so much, babe. That's, that's the way to do us, it. Uh, Stoke for the set. What's the deal with the Starburst? Why is your tour manager mashing a bunch of Starburst together? <laughs> well, our tour manager is a uh, eight-year-old boy, and um, he likes to He's not our tour manager. Together. He's our manager. I'm sorry, our manager. And he's Excuse DJing me. for us today. Yeah, our manager's DJing How's for How's he going to DJ with sticky fingers? <laughs> right. Let's go. He's, he's actually pressing Starburst <laughs> into the jog wheels and going, cramming shit into the DJ board. It's going to be sick. But, you know, he's just a kid like like us, so we're just having fun. <laughs> just mashing some candy together. Right, that's right. As you do before a performance. We're close to Halloween. It's about candy time almost. So <laughs> yeah. Mashing it together. Mashing it together. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Can't wait for your set, guys. You guys are right, right, man. Thank Don't you change so much. ever. Thank you, bro. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Guys. Thanks, boss.